in these bushes. Okay. Nobody there. Obviously. Um. Let's talk to this girl. To snow. That was her. Okay. That's a fabric. What are you doing? Better to be thorough. Sure, just hurry up. We don't have much time. We should move her before anyone shows up. We'll find out more at the business office. She'll be in the books. I'm sure of it. Big P, do you have any idea what's going on? Um... How did this happen? Why her? I don't want to say anything. Sorry, yet. Snow. Just not ready to say yet. Fine. Let's just get upstairs. Uh... I'm gonna have to tell Crane about this. As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs to know. And he's going to find out anyway, so we may as well get out in front of it. Uh, It'll just be worse if he finds out we held it from him. I guess it's useless to drag it out. That's how I feel too. I'm sure he won't be happy, but it's just part of the process. Hopefully he can be rational about it. I wouldn't yeah, hold my sure. breath. <sighs> I'm not. I just don't want him interfering. Indeed. Crane's not what's important right now. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can okay. take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business office. <clears throat> so. Oh. oh, this is a mess, isn't it? Yes, okay. Oh, yeah. Um, hello? Oh, there we go. A bit laggy then. What are you, blind? Why, you don't see there's a line? I've been standing uh, here a half hour already. Shut up, man. You get to just walk in? Must be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. I work here. And what great work you do, Sheriff. Hmm. That didn't like feel you. very genuine. Fucker. Oh, shit. You, because you are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow! The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep! The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria! Do you understand me? Yes, of course I Don't do. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow! You asked me a question! Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow! I brought you this news as soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around here. This is a disaster! Back off, Ichabod. It's not her fault. I don't need your help, Big B. Instead of trying to assign blame, maybe we should figure out how to catch the fucker who did this. Oh, says the man who is most to blame for this catastrophe. How convenient. Sheriff, you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fable Town. Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire I community. Shut your face. Tell me you've been doing something. Are there any leads? Suspects? Anything. Anything at all. Any shred of evidence you two know what the hell you're doing. Because right now, I have half a mind to fire the both of you. Yeah, her pimp. Her... was she, uh... Yeah. She was worried about a money situation. Well, this is just wonderful. Not only is a fable killed, but it was a fable hooker to boot. <laughs> you two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. 
The last thing we need is all of Fable Town knowing there's a killer amongst us. Snow. Yes? Sir? Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. Where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? What? Don't bother. Forget it. You can't do anything right. Do okay. your job, Sheriff. Really like we'll find guy. someone who can. Oh, do yourself. You know what? Stop. We'll get on it right away, sir. You would have just pissed him off more. All right. Well, that could have gone better. Well, maybe we should have dragged it out. For what it's worth, I still think it was better to tell him. Yeah, maybe. Oh, Crane doesn't like people smoking and... Okay. Never mind. Smoke away. Crane is an asshole. What an asshole. Yep. That was about an eight on the asshole scale. Asshole scale? Well, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> What's that? Is... Is he gone? Yes, thankfully. Buffkin! Hello, Miss Snow. Drinking? This early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? Maybe. <laughs> it's a flying monkey thing. How are you today, Mr. Bigby? Uh. Fuck, fuck off, Buffkin. <laughs> oh, Buffkin, oh, I'm sorry. Get the books. Oh, God, Which I feel books? Bad that now. The ones with all the fables in it. Not sure that was any more specific. Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. He knows the ones I'm talking about. There's bound to be information on her here. Somewhere. Oh. We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buff can find them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. Oh yeah, I'll poke around. I really have to get this appointment squared away, but... Let me know if you need anything. How can you Oh, I get it. It's like... Hello, Vivian? Is that a Lady Slam? Hi. Really? That is awesome. White, Mr. I want a wish. Magic lamps are pretty lamp? much just lamps. After the genie's been freed. Oh, really? The genie's free? But I wanna... I wanna... Yes, that's right. I wanna stroke it. I wanna stroke it. Worth a try. Oh, man. Yes, this sucks. I I question it only due to the amount. Uh, it seemed a bit excessive. Mm hmm. I have. Tarot cards. Jack brought them back from Appalachia. Who knows where they were before then? Okay. Or what he did to get them. Well, that's not what I have here. I can look through it again and get back to you. Sorry. Strength. I guess it comes in all forms. I'll be sure to let him know. Again. Towel. Nice. And it's the last one. Damn. Just what the fuck is this supposed to mean? This is probably gonna end badly. So I steal that card. That's fine. Um Okay, let's go with this mirror. Hey, Magic Mirror, I got a question. You know the rule. I don't have time for this shit. Your impatience is callow. You're needlessly cruel, but have some respect for our history of rules. <sighs> mirror, mirror. Uh, if you're able, tell me all about this fable. See, was that so hard? Yeah, I'm about two seconds away from kicking a hole in you. There's no need for that. Fine. Of which <laughs> fable do you wish to know? Uh... The... Uh, 
I don't know her I name. don't know her name. Not yet, anyway. Well, until you do, I can't help you. Hey, woodsman. Show me the woodsman. Where is he? What you see is complete. The woodsman stumbles down a street. No shit. Which street? <laughs> I'm sorry, Bigby. I can only show you what can be seen. Show me Buffkin. Hey, put down the bottle and get to work. <laughs> Still looking. <laughs> uh, uh, Show me Snow White. Not much of a request. She's in this very room. Hey, shut up. Nobody right now. Very well. Please return help. should you wish to ask about someone else. Or someone new. Okay. Find out the name of that girl. Well, I'm sure we'll get it all cleared up. Okay. Thank you. We'll start with these. Any information on fables in our community will be somewhere in these books. Okay. Uh... Beast. Beast. Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, dwarves. The less <laughs> said about that, the better. Woodsman? Yep, and his axe. Three of the piggies. Colin and his brothers. Mr. Toad. Nice hat. I haven't seen Badger around for a while. He likes his privacy, I think. I wish Toad would like his a bit more. I've seen this before. This symbol on the man's clothes, it's the same as the rings. Could be her father, or husband. This has most of the emblems of the old days, and usually what family they come from. If it's in here, we'll have her name. Can I continue to look at this one? Yeah, I can. Hmm. I think her name was Red. She didn't make it out. Ichabod Crane. Scared shitless. What's that? Your boss. His finest moment. Hard to understand how he ended up running this place. <sighs> well, maybe it's time that changed. Okay. Back out that. Let's check out this book. Okay, there's... What? I can't read any of this shit. I can help. Maybe it will brighten your shitty mood a little. Unlikely. Buffkin, translate. Hmm, an exquisite design from the good china of Toad Hall. Mr. Toad? He probably wrote this in himself. This is the one. Where is this symbol from? Which family or story? That's an odd one. Family name? Alairairao? I'll go look it up. Alairairao. I'm 
means every kind of fur in German. Uh, donkey skin. Yes. What does it say? <sighs> donkey skin girl, also known as donkey skin. <laughs> also known as <laughs> ass skin. <laughs> uh, prefers to go by the name Faith. Poetic? Buffkin, we don't need the commentary. Uh, okay. The story of donkey skin. There was once a great king with a beautiful queen. The queen grew ill and had her husband promise to only marry the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. After a long search, it became clear that the only woman in the land that could match her beauty was... Oh, his daughter, Faith. Oh, that's just nasty. She had a magic cloak made from the skin of her father's prized donkey that would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, she married a prince who could see past the magic cloak and knew her true beauty. And they lived happily ever after. Until now. <laughs> Should I mark it, Miss Snow? Yes. Please. Oh, uh, dear. And what's her husband's name? <clears throat> Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. We got what we came for. Yeah. Her name's Faith. She was married to Prince Lawrence. I mean, that's more than Her we... name was Faith. Yeah. Yeah, she did now. We should talk to the husband. You think he did it? Can't rule him out. Nothing would surprise me at this point. We can't rule him out. This means tarot is a backwards art. I wouldn't put too much stock in its wisdom, Bigby. Not when you've been so helpful. Prevision's muddy. I'm as clear as a window. Uh, mirror, mirror, blah, blah, able, blah, blah, blah about this fable. Of which fable do you wish to know? <laughs> um. Faith. Show me... show me faith. Through powerful magic her whereabouts concealed. Unfortunately for you, these lips are sealed. What? These lips are sealed. It's not my choice of phrasing, Bigby. It's simply the way this has to be. What? Fine. Show me Faith's father, the old king. Ah, he's dead. Guess that crosses him off the suspect list. Uh, he's a prince, I think. Show me Prince Lawrence. Um, What's he been doing? Where is this? Where's what? Do you know where Prince Lawrence lives? If he's a prince, probably relocated in the South Bronx. Yellow building, red window shutters. Red frames. Yep, that's the one. I can take us there. Let's go. Nobody right now. Anything we can use? Yeah, that'll have to do for now. Come on, we're going over there. Yeah, boy. Oh, phone call. Sorry, I have to get that. Hello, Woodland's business office. Yes, I... He is. Hold on. Bigby, it's for you. Hello? Bigby, it's me, Toad. You there? Uh, yeah. What do you want? Yeah. Bigby, shit. Listen, right, there's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. Get over here, Bigby, before he... Oh, wait, hang on. Boy, shit. Hey! What was um, that about? Hard to say. Something going on over at Toad's place. What about Faith's husband? I don't know. I couldn't really tell. But he could be in trouble. And we should go there anyway to search her apartment. Toad might have to wait. 
Whenever you're ready. Okay. Let's go. <sighs> um, yeah, open the door. Okay. There's first. 